So today, guys, we work in the page 136. The topic is understand the y-intercept of a line. From this section, you are not going to have homework, okay? I'm only going to explain you how to use this program. The program is GeoGebra. It's a tool online to graph the functions. We are going to use the facts we have on the exercise to complete it. The, the important part in here is that I want you to understand why um, it's important, the y-intercept and how to relate this, okay? We are working with a very similar uh, topic like the other, we were working in the other week, in the last week. In the example one, we need to determine the one, the y-intercept of a relationship. Matilde and her friend are going bowling. She can rent shoes at the bowling uh, alley or use her mother's old bowling shoes. How can she determine how much money she will save if she brings her mother's old bowling shoes? You can see at the right part, you have a chart, you have a table with the bowling prices includes, uh, including the show rental, the shoe rental. For one game, she's going to pay $4. For three games, it's going to pay $8. For five games, she's going to pay $12. And for 10 games, she's going to pay $22. So you know that you have something in common in these exercises, and we are going to find it, right? I want to know in common in here, how many dollars is she paying for the shoes, for the shoe that she rent? Because the exercise asks you, how can she determine how much money she will save? So how many dollars is she going to save if she brings her mother's old bowling shoes? This is the importance of the y-intercept. The y-intercept is, uh, y-intercept is relating all the points I have for the graph. Okay, I'm going to show you this program. I don't need all of this, so I'm going to make it smaller. In this part, you have tools, okay? They are the tools. Click in here, and you have some uh, many basic tools. For example, this is for uh, to move the graph. You can move it. This is to graph a point. This is what I'm going to use mostly with you today. We have many tools. You can explore it when you have time and when you have time, okay? Well, you can explore it if you want. This, uh, you have in here one point. This is the same I have in the other one, okay? This point is the same. The difference is that I can connect this, for example, in this part. I have the line, the semi, the vector, the other things. You can see all the tools. I have uh, something to add text. I have something to erase if I made a mistake, for example. But we are going to start, okay. How do I know the points that I'm going to use? I take the first point, okay. And I can see at the table I have. For one game, I'm going to pay $4. One game, okay. I use X for the number of games. And I'm going to use the dollars, the amount of money, on the axis Y. So in the vertical line, I'm going to have the amount of money. and the horizontal line, I'm going to have the number of games. So in the first point, what we have? The step one, is to write the number of games and the cost as order pairs. The order pairs is when we include the X and the Y. And I'm going to graph these order pairs and then find the slope to determine the cost of each game. Okay. Something important in this exercise. You already saw it, I think, but I'm going to tell you again. The slope is two, so we are going to find it, okay? Don't worry, we are going to find it. I'm only trying to explain you everything 
before we start so you are you understand what are we trying to do if we find this slope this is going to be the cost for each gain remember the slope is going to be the same on each point so this is going to be the cost for each game and when we find the y intercept this is going to be the cost for the shoe rental the intercept is going to be one point that is going to cross through the y axis the point that uh, take or touch touch in here the y axis this is going to be my intercept okay but we start we don't waste more time in in this i'm going to start with you so i take where it says point and I'm going to place the first point. The first one is going to be located in one for X because it's one game and it's four for the Y. So my first point is in here. I only touch and the point appears instantly. The other part is when I have three for X, three games, and the price is going to be $8. So this is going to be in here, right? You can see that I don't have more space in here to place all the points, so I'm going to move. Move, look in here. Even if I move, you can see the values for X, they don't disappear. Even if the axis uh, is not in here, you can, you can continue watching the points. The same for Y. Can you see it? That's because you need to graph, okay? And you need to see the points. So the other point I'm going to graph. Uh, okay, other thing is that you can adjust the sum in here. Approximate or in this case, um, we can increase or decrease the sum. Okay, can you see? If you work better with the all the spaces of the numbers, can you see when I make it uh, greater, you have more values, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0.5 in here, but I don't need any decimal points, so I'm going to keep it the same way. I was only trying to show you, okay? So the other point I'm going to graph what is for five games, so I'm take I'm taking five for X and it's going to be $12. So I take the point five for X and $12 in here. It's going to be located this point in this place. What is the last point? When we have 10 games, it's going to be 10 for X and 22 for Y. So I'm going to move it. 10 for X and 22 for Y. 10 and 22. I have all the points, but I cannot see it all because uh, I made zoom. So I'm going to decrease again and you can see the graph. You can see it better now, right? This is what you have. But you have only the points and I need the line. I need the line to connect this. So I'm going to move on the tools. I'm going to move in here. I'm going to look for the part that says for these lines, I'm going to use the semi because if you take the complete line, it's going to show you everything until this part, and I don't want to show you everything. It starts in this point, A, and finish in this point, D. So you only touch the point when, where it starts and you touch the point where it's going to finish, okay? This is what I have. Now I'm going to move to show you again what is happening in here? Can you see? You don't have the graph touching this uh, y intercept. What you have in here is only the points, okay? But they are not taking, uh, they are not touching the, the line, okay? The y intercept. I need this to be completed because, okay, um, I need to find how much money are they going to pay for the rental of the shoes. So, okay, 
we can do it later if you want. First, we can find the slope. I'm going to write it in here. We can write it in here. But first, I want to write the, the order pairs for all the points, the coordinates for the points. I can write it using text. It's the same, okay? I move in here and I use the text. In what part is the text? In here, text. So what is the first coordinate I have for the first point? I have one for X and four for Y. The point is going to be located in here. Okay, for the other one, what we have? We have three for X, we have three for X, and I'm going to have eight for Y. This is the other point I have in here. Okay, for the next one, what we have in here, I have five for X, comma, 12 for Y. This is the other point. I'm going to move this text in here. I'm going to write the last point. The last is 10 for X and 22 for Y. This is the last one I have. Now we can find the slope. Remember that to find the slope, we need to use two points. We can use these two, these two, or these two. It doesn't matter, okay? I only need two points. So maybe I'm going to insert the text in here. We find the slope M. This is going to be equal. I'm going to give you this space in here. Uh, for example, I take the first points. 1 comma 4 and 3 comma 8. So 8 is the first value for y and I'm going to subtract 8 with um, 4, right? You have 4. I'm going to write in here the other part. You have the line in here and the other number you have for the slope is 8 minus 4 and 3 minus 1, right? Because these are the values for these are the values for x. This is going to be equal. 8 minus 4 is 4, right? And 3 minus 1 is 2. So I obtain 2. Okay. This is a little informal, guys, but I was uh, I just wanted to show you the the shape of this, okay? This is the slope we have, so the slope is two. It means that two is the price they pay for each game. Is This is the cost for each game, two dollars. When we have, for example, five games, we pay uh, 12, and why we uh, pay more? Because she is renting the shoes. So we need to find the cost for renting the shoes. So if we extend the line to show where the line crosses the y-axis, the y-coordinate of the point uh, is going to show you the y-intercept. Again, the y-intercept is the point when the graph, the graph you have is going to cross through the y-axis. So I'm going to extend the line so you can see it. If I extend the line, where is going to be placed this? If I start in here, you cannot uh, watch it in here, okay? You can see that the line is not completely straight. If you extend the line completely straight, it's going to be placed in this point too. Can you see it? In the place in, in two. But I don't want the graph completed because it has to finish in. It has to finish in this point where it touches the axis. So I'm going to erase this. And now I'm going to do it but in the other direction. I'm going to use this, but starting in two, 
and it's going to finish in here because I don't want the other part. I just want the part where it touches the Y axis. So if this is going to touch the Y axis in two, it means that she is going to pay $2 for renting the shoes. $2, this is the Y axis. This is what you have in common with all the points. You have $2 in common with all the other points, okay? So when I reduce the, okay, can you see it better? If I decrease the zoom, this is what we have. We have the points in here and I'm going to add more text for you because I consider that this is important. This is the most important actually because we were looking about this. This is the Y intercept y intercept and we write the coordinates of the point 0 for x and 2 for y this is one characteristic of the intercept the intercept is for y so x has to be with a value of 0 because you can see the value for x is 0 is placed on the origin but for y it doesn't start in the origin for y you start this on the number two. Can you see it? So I reduce again the, okay. I reduce it again so you can see it better. This is what we have in the graph, okay? You already have all the graph. So I'm going to finish in here this part, sharing the screen, and I'm going to ask you if you have any question or something about this. So guys, um, do you have any question about this? It's better guys when you start using the technology too, because you are not going to be always um, solving everything on the notebook. In this case, for example, we are going to use, it, uh, to use the book because we need to complete the book. But it's possible that I assigned you one homework in this case that you are going to need to graph many functions using the, the program, okay? Or at least at least one, okay? Only to be sure that you understand how to use it or you can, you can try, okay? The idea is to practice. I know that with one time, you are not going to learn everything. We can continue with the practice, but I decided to give you this class in this way, okay, again, because it's important for you to understand how to use this kind of apps, okay, it's a free app, it's online, so you can get the complete access, and it's better for you, I tell again, to understand how to use it and to be, okay, to get used with the technology, more in these days, and most in these days that we need to use everything with this technology so okay uh, i'm going to finish in here guys